All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here with Lauren Tesla. We're doing another FST drive. We are still on 14.2.2.2 and 0.2.2.2. So what we're gonna do today is I just uh, put out a video comparing sloth mode, uh, comparing all the modes basically from sloth to chill to standard to hurry and Mad Max. Now I was in a city road but there was no cars around, it was a straight line. Uh, so it was a good test to do in the city. You're not gonna get that sort of behavior anywhere else in the city in terms of like, there's no turns, there's not a lot of traffic. Uh, but obviously we wanna also test on the highway. So here we are, we're gonna go on a little drive, uh, about 20 minutes. Cause that's basically what, you know, what everyone is complaining about in terms of we want a set speed to be able to, or a max set speed and be able to adjust ourselves because right now the speed profiles are just not working. So as we got on the highway here, we are on sloth mode. And right now the speed limit is 90. It should pick up soon. So once we get onto the actual uh, highway here, it should pick up. And while we're driving on the highway, we'll also take note of the lane changes because a few complaints with the previous versions was that lane changes weren't very confident. It would turn on the turn signal very early and not make a lane change. Uh, so we're gonna see if that kind of behavior is still there. I have not seen it. I went on a road trip a few uh, last week, a four hour drive, and I didn't notice any sort of behavior in terms of lane changes that I didn't like. All right, so still at a 90. So we're gonna merge in here. So speed limit is 90, we are going 90 in slot mode. So I'm gonna drive here for a few more kilometers just to see if there's, if it adjusts up or down or not. Obviously the car in front of us is way ahead and it's not, uh, it's, you know, pulling away from us. So is, this is where you kind of have to like figure out where the speed profile set like for me standard would kind of be the around the speed limit but right now sloth is and i'm getting past left and right here so we've kind of concluded that sloth is the speed limit so let's move up to chill So no changes as of yet. Still 90 and a 90. All right, so let's go ahead and go up the standard. So here's, we have some speed increase here. So we have 95. So a previous comment in my last video did basically said this is what's gonna happen, is that uh, Sloth and Chill were at the speed limit and wouldn't go any higher. And then Standard was a mix between, you know, five over and 20 over. So right now we're at 107. and 108. So we're about 18 over the speed limit. So this truck is uh, kind of pulling into front of me here. For my American friends, we'll uh, go ahead and get the mileage for you. So 
So for my American friends, it's a 68 max, 68 miles per hour, and we're going 72. So that's uh, 116 kilometers an hour. Now, we have a truck ahead of us, so I'm not too sure if we're, we're being slowed down by it a little bit. Because before the truck was ahead of us, we were going 118, so it kind of tracks. So we're going to make a lane change. So since we're in a faster moving lane, we're going at 119. It kind of staying there. So I think I take this opportunity to go up to hurry. See if it picks up speed. So we are now going 127 or 80 miles an hour. Changing lanes again. So we are still kind of hanging around 127. Now this is what the speed, the hurry speed profile used to be uh, with 14.2, I believe. And then 14.2.1 came out and everything was kind of dialed back a bit. And really there was no differences in the speed profiles. So here we are. Now we're going 126. So let's let's go crazy. Let's go uh, Mad Max. So no change in speed there. Interesting. So we're changing lanes. See if we're going to pick up speed with this in the faster lane. Still kind of like 127, 129. Ooh, 130. 132. So 134, or 132, sorry. It kind of slowing down because obviously that we have a caravan in front of us. So let's bring it down. Since we're exiting soon, we're going to bring it down to hurry. So that kind of sped up. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling I know what's going on here. I'll figure a little too, I'll fill you guys in in a second. So let's go down the standard. And I'm gonna do it before this Lexus to see what it does. So now I feel the big drop in speed. So now we're going 119. The speed limit's 110, just to update that, or 68 miles an hour for my American friends. So 119, that's kind of what we were doing when we were ramping up on standard, was about 119. I'm going to go down to uh, chill. So a bit of a drop. I'm going to assume we're going to go down to the speed limit, which we are. So one, 111 in a 110 zone, or 69 and a 68. If only we could do 67. This is why I can't drive with miles per hour, because my kids would lose their minds with 67. All right, let's go down to Sloth. I think it's going to stay exactly the same. All right, slow down. 109, not big, not a big deal. Uh, 
Okay, let's go up to standard. See if we get it back to that 119 spot. So 114, 116, 116. Now we do have our is that a Lexus, Lexus in front of us. Uh, car's not wishing to change the lane right now. Oh, it is now. So let's just, I'm gonna give it some time to see if it speeds up to the, our our 119 magic zone here. And 119 is not well. I guess it's fast because compared. Well, I don't know. Speed limit's 110, so yeah, it's I guess okay for standard. All right, let's go to hurry. See if we get up to that 130 zone. So changing back lanes. So we're kind of sticking around 119. So not really going any faster than that. Oh, 121. Here we are. I can feel the speed picking up here. We're going to change lanes, get past these slower cars. So we're already up to 126, 127. And we're in that 130 mark. So, I bet you if I go up to Mad Max, we're not going to change it all that much. As predicted, we're staying at 127. Okay, so we're almost where we're going. So I'm going to go down to standard. So there's that drop in speed, right to 119. So this is why I think is going on. Chill and Sloth are the same. And same with Hurry and Mad Max. Where the two differentiate is that driving behavior, not, not associated with the speed, just in terms of keeping up with the uh, cars around you, the flow of traffic, mostly. Because that one time when we, were, uh, when we went out to Mad Max, the only time that it actually was faster than hurry was when the flow of traffic was a lot faster. So, and I would assume that that's the same with kind of like, you know, driving in town, uh, you know, doing lane changes, maybe on turns, I'm not sure. So I think that Hurry and Mad Max are kind of like the same, just a bit of different style of driving, and then on the same with Chill and Sloth on the slow side. And standard is you're kind of like meet in the middle. That's kind of like what the standard drive, I guess, because that's where most people are probably going to drive. I usually live in standard or hurry. Uh, mostly in the winter, I'll stay in standard just because there's usually bad weather and I just leave it like that. So I think that's what's happening here. So if you guys, let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have seen this behavior already as well. I know one comment on my last video, you know, said exactly what this is what's going to happen and did. So I'm glad I tested it out. On another note, we are heading to a McDonald's. That's just what I put it for the destination. And if we go to our speed profile here, I thought you could choose the drive through, but you can't. It's still the same. So once we get there, it's most likely just going to park in the driveway. And I hope Tesla would add like a drive through option because that would be cool. Now, here we are making going straight and making a U, U turn instead of making a left turn. Why? I've noticed that quite a lot more in these new updates is that it wants to do 
U-turns instead of just making left turns. So while the car does that, I'm going to go ahead and say, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about definitely every week, sometimes twice a week, sometimes three times a week. You never know. So if you don't want to miss videos, you got to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See, it's the same mentions. We could have just turned left from there. Uh, anyways, also be sure to follow me on my socials. I'll have them posted. Uh, and stay tuned for another merch drop. I just uh, designed some new t-shirts that you see below. These are the old designs, but uh, stay tuned. Uh, some new uh, versions will drop soon. So yes, we're not going in the drive-thru. I want drive-thru mode. So it's going to park right in front of the gas station and we are going to back up. Anyways, uh, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. In the meantime, drive safe. And uh, if you have FSE on your vehicle, I guess you do have FSE. I'm going to stop talking because I'm rambling. Anyways, thanks for watching. And let me know in the comments if you guys uh, want to see some more testing or what you guys want to see from these FSD videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Drive safe and drive electric.